Hello everyone, this is me Apriti from How to Electronics. In this tutorial, we will design our own DIY IoT based water pH meter using a pH sensor and ESP32 Wi Fi module. In some other tutorials, we interfaced pH sensor with Arduino to make a portable pH meter where the pH reading data was displayed on OLED screen. This is a completely different tutorial as we will be using a better and advanced pH sensor. The pH sensor used here is an analog type pH sensor that gives a linear pH reading in 0 to 14 pH range. Instead of displaying the data on an OLED screen, we will send the data to ThinkSpeak server. The ThinkSpeak server provides instant visualization of data posted by our device. Since ESP32 is a 12-bit controller with built-in ADC, so it can measure data more precisely compared to Arduino which has a 10-bit ADC. This tutorial also covers the principle behind the pH measurement and we will also do the testing part of the various liquids like milk, soap solution, lemon juice and also normal water. So without getting any delay, let's begin with this awesome tutorial. This video is sponsored by Tech Design. Tech Design is an e-commerce platform that allows worldwide hardware developers to buy electronic components, modules, and development kits from the original manufacturers directly. All the stores are managed by the manufacturers and you can find large selections of in-stock components and check the real-time inventory update. Just place an order at Tech Design and you can choose to pay by credit cards, Alipay, PayPal, or wire transfer then you will receive the product directly from the manufacturer's warehouse. No matter you are a maker, professional engineer or procurement manager, you can buy from one piece to bulk purchase. Visit Tech Design now. Let's learn about the principle behind the pH measurement. In the case of glass electrodes, the pH sensitive element is a glass bulb that is fused to the end of a glass tube. The electrode is filled with a neutral potassium chloride solution buffered at pH 7 and contains a silver, silver chloride wire that forms the electrical connection. The reference system is located in the outer glass tube and also consists of silver, silver chloride wire in a potassium chloride solution. A so-called junction protects the reference system from the medium to be measured without disconnecting the electrical connection between them. The pH value is calculated from the potential difference between the reference system and the measuring system. Let's take a closer look at the pH sensitive glass bulb to understand how this potential difference is formed. For example, diluted hydrochloric acid contains large negatively charged chloride ions and small positively charged hydrogen ions. When the pH sensor is immersed into this acid, the hydrogen ions are able to penetrate the boundary area of the glass membrane. The so-called gene layer, considerably large chloride ions remain in the solution and the result is charge separation. The same process occurs inside the sensor with the neutral solution buffered at pH 7 that has a constant concentration of hydrogen ions. When the pH value on the inside differs from the concentration on the outside, a measurable potential difference is formed. If the hydrogen ion concentration on the inside is lower than on the outside as shown here, the measured solution is acidic with a pH value lower than 7. If the hydrogen ion concentration is identical on both sides, no potential difference forms and the measured solution is neutral with a pH value of 7. The measured solution is basic if the hydrogen ion concentration inside the glass bulb is higher than in the measured solution. Now let's see the pH sensor kit. This analog pH meter kit with the industrial real-time online electrode is specially designed for Arduino and other microcontrollers. This is the main signal processing board which is having a BNC connector. This is a power supply pin that accepts 9V DC supply and these are the output analog pins that give the result as output. There is a potentiometer that is used for calibration. This instrument is calibrated for the PS sensor provided along with this kit. If there is wrong reading, you may need to adjust this for recalibration. This is the power LED that turns on when the power is applied to it. We also got pH prof or electrode with the sensor. 
This industrial patch electrode is made up of sensitive glass membrane with low impedance. It can be used in a variety of pH measurements with fast response and excellent thermal stability. It has good reproducibility, is difficult to hydrolyze and can eliminate basic alkali error. In 0 pH to 14 pH range, the output voltage is linear. The prop tube tip is very sensitive and should not be tossed with hands and should not place on the ground. And the bulb type tip is very fragile and should be kept in the storage solution if not used. The reference system which consists of silver chloride gel electrolyte salt breeze has a stable half cell potential and excellent anti-pollution performance. Connect the pH electrode to the signal connector board through PNC connector. Now let's test this sensor with basic Arduino code. For this project, I have used an ESP32 board. The SP32 has a 12-bit analog to digital converter, so the output measured can be more precise. This is the connection diagram of the sensor. The output of the sensor is connected to the VP pin of ESP32 and the sensor has a common ground. The sensor requires a 9-volt supply, so you may use a battery. So for this demo, I will quickly connect all these wires and boards as per the circuit diagram. Finally, after the connection is made, it's time to power the circuit. So I will use a 9 volt battery pack. And as soon as the battery is connected, the LED on the sensor turns on. Now let's move to the basic code. We will only be measuring the analog to digital converter value and then converting it into a pH value. So this is a simple code according to the dataset. Now select the ESP32 board from the list, then select the port as well, and then you can upload the code. After uploading the code, you can now open your serial monitor. Here we are getting the pH value around 4. This is the value you will get when the electrode are dipped in a storage solution. This is basically the cleaning mixture and is also used for calibration. Now let's just read the pH of soap or detergent. So I have a soap solution here immersed in the water container. To test it, I will remove the electrode and put it into the solution. So now you can see the pH value has started rising. As we know, soap is a mixture of sodium salt of fatty acid. So basically it's a base. So the pH value should be greater than 7. In our case, it's showing the pH value slightly lesser than 8. But in real, the majority of the soap have a pH within the range of 9 to 10, which can get after the perfect calibration. Next, we need to measure the pH of lemon. So I have mixed lemon juice with the water. Now let's see what's the value of the pH is after mixing the lemon. So you can see on the screen the pH value has dropped and it goes around 3, which is the correct pH value for the lemon juice. So this is how you can use this pH sensor to measure the pH value of the liquid. Now let's move to the IoT part of the project. We have used ThinkSpeak for this. Create a new channel in ThinkSpeak, give any name and also add the description as well as the field. Go to the API key part and copy the API key. We will use this API in the code to receive the pH data on ThinkSpeak server. Paste the API code in the Arduino code and update the Wi-Fi SS ID and password. The rest of the thing doesn't need any change. So after uploading the code, the serial monitor still shows the value of pH of lemon. Now move to the ThinkSpeak dashboard and go to the private view of your channel. So here you can see the pH value being uploaded on the ThinkSpeak dashboard in graphical format. So this is how you can monitor the pH of any liquid online from any part of the world. All the information related to this project including the source code can be found in the How to Electronics article. If there is anything that you would like to ask, comment down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.